Hi friends, uh, today I'm going to talk about the electrical problems of a scooter if it doesn't start. So you are ready to go somewhere, you turn on the ignition, but none of the dials, the control dial is not working, your indicators are not working, horn is also not working. So this could be due to a weak battery or your fuse might have been blown, so there's nothing to be worried about. All you need to do is you don't even have to press your brake, brake lever. Turn on the ignition and give it a kick start. And your bike will be <coughs> ready to go. So if you are facing such a situation, this is the quickest way of getting it started. Okay, the next thing is if uh, you are unable to kick start your uh, scooty, then there might be a problem with your stator coils, with your CDI, the capacitor discharge ignition system or the plug. If you want to really find out what the fault is, then first you'll have to start with the brake switch here. And then you have the ignition switch here. You have to check and find out if they are working. So the quickest way of finding out whether this switch is working, the ignition switch is you turn on the ignition and check for this light. If this light is working, once you rule out the switch here, then comes this one, this starter switch. So you press the Break and try the starter switch. If you can hear this clicking sound, then your starter switch is okay. If your uh, brake switch is faulty, then you have to remove all this headlight from here and the mirrors, which I already have done. And what you need to do is you need to find the switch. The switch is here. This is the brake switch here. As you can see, this is the brake switch. When we apply the brake, this little knob kind of thing comes out and this completes the circuit. But if this is faulty, this switch is faulty, what you need to do is you need to trace the wires and remove the wires from their housing. Take a piece of wire and ensure your ignition is switched off when you do this. And you put one wire here and one here. So you are just kind of making the circuit direct and then you switch on the ignition okay thank you the red light rose once you have ruled out the brake switch if that is fine then you come to the starter switch which is here this is the starter switch if this is faulty then since i've already taken this whole thing out uh, you find the wire that connects it to the starter remove that wire and all you need to do is you need to make it direct so you put in one end and the other end here and the other end here and you'll hear that clicking sound make so that is how you can bypass this as well and if either of this or that switch is faulty then you need to get it replaced eventually of course but in an emergency this is the way to do it so when we rule out the switch here, brake switch, if that's okay, and even if this the starter switch is okay, in the situation that the brake switch is fine but the starter switch is not working, what you can do is you can just pull the starter switch out from here using a screwdriver and then short it like I showed show it to you. And in case both are okay now, we move to the coil here, the solenoid. This is this is called a solenoid. This part is the solenoid. So you turn on the ignition, press your brake switch up, and take a screwdriver. It should be insulated. Please be very careful. There's high voltage here, and you just short these two, and you will be able to start the scooty. So yeah, this is it. Uh, if you switch on your scooty and your electricals are all dead, the horn is not working, indicators are not working. The fuel gauge is not working, nothing is working. Don't panic, just kick start the scooty. And if you are a little more inquisitive as to know why all this happened, then you have to open all everything like I did. You have to rule out the brake switch, you have to rule out the starter switch, and the solenoid here. If it's doing that tick tick sound, then you have to short it using an insulated screwdriver, and that will start the scooty for you. I hope this video was of some use to you and uh, 
I hope you never get into such a situation in the first place. But if you do, then I hope what I told you today will come in handy.